You see, in Acts 4.12, Peter tells us that there is no other name in the whole world by which humans are saved. So does this mean that faith in Christ is required for salvation? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Now, this is if. If, if this faith comes from hearing the gospel, are we to conclude that God wills the salvation only of those who have heard the gospel and believe in it? Mm. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. These questions have been debated and they have created, uh, you know, again and again. <laughs> okay. So you, you see that. Hmm? Because salvation comes from hearing about Christ and believing in Him, believing in His resurrection. But there are others who have not, not heard about, about it. So that God will their salvation. About uh, two or three days ago, the gospel appears. I see it every year, and I can never figure it out. And I look for it every year, and I can never figure it out. He says, the people who will be saved are the ones who believe in me. And you can tell who believes in me because they'll be able to pick up snakes and drink poison and all that stuff, and they won't die. Well, what's the explanation for that? Now, that's the ending of the Gospel of Mark. Okay, let's, let's yes. look at it. Yeah. How about those people who need a good life, but they didn't know Jesus? Okay, we are, we are getting all... We, we that's where we are going. <laughs> okay. But we are going to look at that text too. Okay? It's the Gospel of Mark, okay, chapter 16, beginning with the script verse. I look and usually look, when I have trouble understanding, I look for the, into the Bible, I go to the footnotes. But even the footnotes do not address that. So I could never figure that out. I, I, I understand, you know, basically, there's, he's probably referring to sin. If you pick up a snake, that's like picking up sin, you know. Now basically, you see, you saw in Isaiah, Kim, okay, where, um, like if you put, um, a sheep in a lion's den, what will happen? The lion will eat it. The lion will eat it. But Isaiah foresees a future, this is basically what I think Gaswell is reflecting, foresees a future where there will be total shalom as it was in the Garden of Eden, but even more so, okay? Whereby there was no, this is basically the, what the Gospel is, you know, saying that those um, prophecies of Isaiah have come to pass. This is the messianic age. Okay, so you will see a lion, you know, basically grazing with the sheep. Okay, a little kid playing with a snake. Okay, so that's basically what they. These are the times. Okay, that's what it's, it's referring to. Okay, basically they are not uh, teaching like zoology. Okay, but they are just uh, showing that. Uh, the image of the messianic times. Everything will be shalom, at peace with each other. Sin will be gone. Sin will brought about chaos again, not only among humans, but also within the totality of creation. So there will be a new heavens and a new earth. Okay? So this is a recreation of everything. Okay, so let's continue with that this second. So, we look at, again, as we said, those questions arise, but we go back to the basics, meaning scripture and church teaching. So, we begin with scripture. The first 11 chapters of Genesis reveal God as creator and Lord of all humanity, benevolent to all his creatures, and deeply concerned that all humans live justly. So, they know covenant with Noah, but let's first take a break and get into this. It's <laughs> done. <laughs> Are you a Molini story by nation? 
Are you Emily? Maybe depending on the circumstances. You're a Jesuit. I look like Jesuit. I'm a Dominican. You're a Dominican? I'm a Dominican. How would I work there? I'm an associate. I'm a co-worker. He doesn't do what? 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 Uh, so like that. And that's what they're saying here. Yeah. Uh, if, the, if they do no price, but they're living a good life, how can are what they is, going to be safe? But what is a good life? It's like like it's helping shit. people. Do you remember? What, what do you, are you doing? Really, do you remember the story of uh, Jesus uh, when he talked about the Pharisee and the publican, the Pharisee and the uh, the tax collector? And the Pharisee basically recounted what he did. Okay. You say, I pray. I give arms. Um, I fast. All these things. And Jesus says, What is Jesus? Yeah, because he doesn't know God. He said, no, God, he's just doing things, it's good to think. Okay. His parents told him how good to a lot of people, and he's good. So in other words, goodness doesn't depend on what we say. Yes, that's exactly right. Love God. Because you, you can do, do things for your own, yes, for yes, your yes. glory, your own, yes. what you call it. So, um, so you make a judgment, I'm a very good person, yes. according to your own measure. Own measure. Own measure. Yes. And that's not how God looks yeah. at us. That's why I said, you have to learn how to love God. You yeah. start with yeah. Because you know, yes. you're not doing the, whatever you do, yeah. you're not doing it for yourself. Yeah. You have to point people to. Because I'm a very good person because I'm doing all this. God is good. So they're not going to be safe. God, no, we're going to look at you. Let's get it. Okay, you have to guess what? I told him you better to start all over again and start loving God. No pain, no Jesus. We're going to go. We have, we have that. Everybody is jumping ahead. And <laughs> 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 because it naturally makes a question. I just remember because we had an argument about that. And he's watching, oh, you're crying. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're being nailed already in the cross. Why is he following you? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's why St. Paul was killing Christians who wouldn't believe in a weak Messiah who is crucified. How can you be God? How can you be a liberal, a messiah, a demon, and you end up on the cross? But then later on, St. Paul realized that, well, it was a different model of salvation. It's not a messiah, it's not a warrior king. Yes, but it all stems from what you call human pride. Everything you know, begins with me and ends with me. But some others it's just a few ideas. That's why we have the obligation to, to teach. 